Okay, it's not very often that I do walkthrough videos. It's just when you've got this many animals and a small spot, small space, it's a, a never-ending battle to keep it clean. Even if you're camping, living full-time, you know most of these sites have sand that's constantly tracked in and it's just... So I'd be cleaning if, even if I didn't have the animals, but they, they certainly... Um, make their fair share of the mess. So we're going to do a quick, I guess, a walkthrough video here. Up top, that's the cat food. That's the frame to my boat. A couple of storage cabinets back there. We keep the cat food dispenser over here. We keep that cushion tilted so the cats can climb up more easily. Over here, we have the cat carriers. Um, I'm going to have to take that one out and wash it right now. I just put it in here to see if it would fit. Uh, I had just the one because I usually would let Killer just do his own thing because he's traveled for years. But now that he's getting older, um, I had him in just that one and it kept tipping over. It'd tip over and fall down. So I've got two here to keep the two. I had to bring this in and make sure it fit to keep the two, um, you know, make sure that they would fit and keep them from jostling around. And then I've put a hook in here and a hook over there. I'm going to run a string with a, a tie down thingy across both of them to keep them from trying to come down when I'm going down the road but I've like I said I've still got to take that one out and clean it down here's my bed uh, all my sheets are in there being washed as we speak um, it's a little hidden compartment that somebody built in here it's not very well hidden but before I before when this was a couch not a bed uh, there was a cushion that blocked that off and so I guess it was slightly hidden We've got our fan over here. There's a light up there. This is the only light that we've switched over for LED I'm gonna switch them all eventually, but that's just the only one that I Really got around to messing with here is my way over packed closet with all my crap in it We've got a DVD player that came with this motorhome if you didn't see my TV videos, this is on an arm, so it can swing whichever direction I choose and watch it from the front or the back. This is the TV that came with the thing. Something's wrong with the audio connection, though, and the screen kind of flickers, so I never really use that. I may even eventually move this arm, and but I, I think this is good where it's at because I can... Sorry for the bad angle, but I can... Um, I can move it however I like, and I can tuck it inside the closet and shut the closet door when I don't want the cats getting in there and chewing wires or anything like that. This stuff was, was on both of these originally, just like how it's on the bottom two, and it is razor sharp. I cut my hand wide open when this piece fell off. I was going to reattach it, and after I realized how sharp it was, I was just like, no way. So here's more crap, um, my video games, my electric cigarette crap more electric cigarette crap um, I actually quit smoking with electric cigarettes so I shouldn't call it crap uh, I've got a video about that I never uploaded it I may upload it one day I need to get in here with a dust rag and cut all that dust out um, so there's the built-in heater this is another storage compartment where we keep automotive related things like my spare lights and fuses and Assorted crap like that. We've got the door. We keep the dog leashes hung up here. Um, there's a handle to get in with. This vinyl, I was surprised at how often I have to clean it. It can be pretty messy. The bathroom. Um, got storage back there. Uh, the other part of my boat frame. That boat frame takes up a lot of room in here. My medicine cabinet. Um, vacuum. Uh, I'm not going to show you down at the bottom because that's where we keep the uh, cat box. And I use a special type of cat litter that is, I meant to take this garbage bag down and the pizza box before I started the video and I forgot. Um, we use a special type of cat litter. It's basically the same stuff that they use in pellet stoves. It's little pellets of sawdust. Um, it, it works better than anything for covering up the smell of cat boxes the problem is the little pieces of sawdust stick to their feet 
and they track it out and they get it all over the floor. One trip to the, so it's good that that's in a separate bath, bedroom, bathroom, a separate room, because that keeps all of the um, sawdust in there so they don't track it back out into the main house. But it's, a, it's, it's, I got to clean that daily too. You know, plenty of, uh, these are bags for picking up dog poop, of course. With three dogs, you're never going to run out of dog poop to clean up. Uh -uh. Some mountain house scrambled eggs with bacon, different seasonings and Kool-Aid packets and vitamins and steak seasonings and keys and my tongs. And this, I know, looks like crap. I'm going to eventually buy a combination. This is a toaster oven and a convection. They make toaster oven convection microwaves. So eventually I'm going to get rid of these two and just put in one single unit. But for now, this works. I don't got to spend any more money. We're going to take that light down up there because that light is preventing me from putting the lid on this toaster oven. Um, and I want to switch it over to LED anyhow. And I want to move it over so that it'll shine light better on what I'm cooking. It's a pain in the ass not being able to see. So over here we've got a bench seat. As you can see, the cats are starting to scratch that. They scratch so much crap in here. Um, got my solar panels, the cage, this cage, if we can get it out, goes down here when I'm driving. Um, sorry, I know you can't see anything, but I'm not using my camera glasses, I'm just using my phone. And it's hard to hold it and show you guys at the same time. So on this side, we attach it with a carabiner locks to the cabinet there and on this side we have one of those yeah it's kind of ghetto but it works and I also prop something on the other side heavy like a water bottle there usually I have my propane can there too and that keeps the dogs from coming up in the front although Sierra will climb this thing uh, so I've now got a short cable connected to this that keeps her over in this area except that she wants to climb up on the back of the seat now, which is fine, I guess, as long as she can't get up to where I'm at, I'm at while I'm driving. My chair, this is another piece of my boat. Um, my new air compressor, one gas can, two gas cans. Both of these gas cans are gonna go in the little metal box I have on the back. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about the dog food and soda. There's going to be more of it when I finally leave for the road. So we're just going to squeeze it in. That's why I'm doing this video now. There's a lot of things outside. And so I can kind of, sort of, show you guys a little bit more of the place than normally. Because there's usually so much stuff stacked in here. There's the sink, which I hardly ever use. Um, a can opener, which is older than I am, but it still works great. This window has a screen, which is nice for the bugs, but that screen doesn't open. So if I ever get pulled over and have to hand over insurance, or if I ever pull up to a window, like say at a campground or a national park, and I have to hand them money, I'm gonna have to get out, and that's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, there's the dash, which we finally fixed the, uh, the uh, where the cats had chewed all this up. This is just another temporary fix. I don't like this black material because it picks up hair too well. I'm gonna have to get a piece of something. I don't know what. I might even take all of this brown vinyl off and just stain the whole thing like that piece of wood is stained. But the cats will even scratch up stained wood. Sure, it can always be sanded and restained. Um, I might use something like rhino liner, rhino liner too. So this is just temporary. What I had on here before this was this the same map material that you see on the back walls. And that stuff was just horrible. I've still got to install my dash cam soon. The reason I haven't is all of my animals like to sit on the dash. And I'm afraid they're going to break the mount. So I'm, I guess I'm going to have to mount it up high and just hope that that's legal. This box has more of my boat stuff. The pontoons, the inflatable pontoons are in that blue spot. Um, and then my blue bucket back there for prospecting there's actually two of those two seven gallon water containers because we need a lot of water when we do long-term boondocking okay there's a couple other things i forgot about we put this drawer here kind of a bedside table it's 
got two drawers in it, which I need for storing all my crap. I've got way too much crap. And then a table here. I can put my food on there if I'm eating. Or, yes, these are linoleum floor tiles I put on top of that. I got this thing at the thrift store. Um, I'm going to eventually do something different and get rid of this because it can slide on my floor. I had it attached to the wall right here um, to keep it from flying forward if it broke. But the dog food dispenser seems to um, bite into the floor and keep it from sliding forward. So that'll work for now. I think you guys have seen the buddy bowl before. I just cleaned this floor 20 minutes ago and look at all the crap they've already spilt on it. Um, I haven't mopped it yet anyway, so I'm just going to have to give it another sweep down before I mop it. I'm trying to wait for them to go to sleep so that they will um, not walk through it when it's wet. Uh, so we got the buddy bowl and the chow hound pet food dispenser. Um, we've got this. No, that's not sewn. It's just simply draped over with a clip. I'm going to eventually get something darker and thicker and sew it and do it right. But this works for now. I put this in last summer. What it does is it separates the two halves of my RV. So when I'm running the air conditioner like I am now. Um, if it's really hot, I've only got to cool this half of the house. Same works with the uh, heater. If it's really cold, I can just warm one side of the house. And when I'm sleeping, it you know keeps people from looking in my windows. And it also, if my poles pop out of my pole holder, it keeps them from falling down on this end. Now over on this side, I've got this holding the poles into the pole holder. It probably just looks like a piece of metal that I should have cut to the proper length, but no, it's actually a divining rod. There should be two of them. I found it at the gold camp, and oddly enough, no matter which direction I, I came at it, it kept pointing to the same area that had a really old bush growing on it. So I guess nobody's dug there, you know, since they bought the claim. And if that bush ever dies, I'm going to dig it up and, and see why this was pointing at that. Um, run my metal detector for, through first and then maybe drag a couple couple yards of uh, dirt back and run it through my sluice box or something. But yeah, so this holds all those in. Um, as you see, if it wasn't there, they would just fall out like that. Um, it's not perfect, but it works. And we've got more storage up here. This this is another bed that drops down. I keep it up all the time with some stuff stored on there. If I should ever have a guest, which I don't imagine why I would, and it's not some girl that's going to be sleeping with me and all three of the dogs, which I don't know why they would. <laughs> um, that's a place where somebody can sleep. Uh, you know, maybe it's a, I don't know. I don't know why I'd ever let anybody up there, but if they if 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 the need ever arose. There's another bed, you know, in addition to the one which I've already dedicated for the cats. Um, this is some kitchen stuff. I keep, like, cups, silverware, paper plates, measuring cup, baggies, saran wrap, tin foil. You know, those kind of really basic things. Um, one of my vents, I already did a whole video on those. We got cupboards here, which we keep food in. Um, I guess that's about it. But yeah, if, if you know, you're thinking about buying a vehicle and becoming a full-time, full-timer, um, don't let finances stop you. That's my only real advice. Um, you're always going to need another hundred dollars, another thousand dollars or whatever. You're always going to wish you had replaced this part before you left, but you know, if it's running now and, and you can do it, just make it happen. If, if you're not, or, or maybe you need an extra $300 a month over what you're getting right now, you know, but if you've been living where you're living and you haven't found that $300 a month extra income source there yet, you're probably not gonna get out on the road, go do it. If you got to buy something old, like I did buy something old, if you don't know how to work on them, learn. It's really not that hard. I know people who can't read that can take an old engine like this, pull it out, rebuild it, and have it back in within a week. Less if they're really working at it. Um, 
uh, just, just don't let things stop you because the more you put stuff off, the harder it's going to get. You're only getting older. Um, so I don't know. Do whatever you want. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. Have a blast doing it and stop making excuses. Oh, that fucker. He fucking pushed the door open.